Hey, welcome to Milgap Farms. Thanks for taking time out of your day to watch our videos. If you haven't been here before, my name is Kevin. Along with my beautiful wife, Emily, we are the owners of the only organic maple syrup farm in Virginia. And we also operate two B&Bs. Uh, with those B&Bs, we do the preparations for them. In doing so, we use this guy right here, which is a Dyson D65 animal vacuum. Recently, we noticed it wasn't working very well, so we decided to check the filters, and lo and behold, they're not, they weren't good. So we picked some up off of Amazon, and we're gonna show you how to put those in today. So come on. First thing you're probably gonna notice is a bungee cord. At some point, the wind gat caught it and broke it, so I just fabricated a bungee cord, and it works pretty well. So you got a filter inside of here, and you got a filter inside of here. And all you gotta do to take it off is twist it in this direction, counterclockwise. Pops off pretty easy. You can clean these filters with water, but I'll tell you, um, I tried cleaning it, and if you can see through that, I don't think you can. Got a flashlight right here, guys. Let's do this. See the flashlight? See it start to get dark? See it not even shine through? So, I cleaned it, but it's not doing well. So instead of messing with, the, with this old one, I went ahead and bought a new one. I'll put the link in the description and you can, you can uh, try the ones that we have. Um, they work really well. I gotta tell you, they're pretty inexpensive too. Guys, a quick inspection. You can already see that it's all white, right? So let's see what the light does behind it. There you go. And that's the way it's supposed to look. It's gonna slide right on and twist. So we're gonna put it on, it twists. There we go. We're gonna screw this right back on. Here, well, maybe that's how it works. Yep, I guess that's how it works. The bottom one's done down below, so now we're gonna do this one right here. I'm gonna tell you it's very simple on this one. A little button right here, flip the button up. This thing's gonna come right out. You can see it right there. It's gonna come out. I mean, it's that easy. You can wash this one too. Um, and I have in the past, but you know what? After a year or two, it's time to get a new one. So I got a new one right here. It's gonna slide right on in. Click. Put it back into place. I noticed that our hose had a split in it right there. And I could still use it for a couple of days, so I ordered some parts and they came in, so now it's time to replace the hose. So I looked on Amazon, guys, and what I found was the, some of the original Dyson ones had some reviews that made them a little shorter. And the last thing I need is a shorter hose. Um, I'm functional, of course, but shorter, no. So I'm gonna try an aftermarket one and we're gonna see what it does. I think it's gonna work pretty well. Here's the hose that we got. It's got the same little clip on the bottom. I'm gonna test it to make sure. Yep. It's similar. It may not be exactly the same, but darn, darn close. And you're gonna see on your vacuum, at the base of your hose, is gonna be one of these little clips. See that clip? It's gonna be a clip on the base of your old hose. And that's what you're looking to put your fingers on. It's right, right inside of here, okay? All you're gonna do is grab it, pull it this way, pull it towards the hose, and give it a little wiggle. Actually, I'm gonna have to use both my hands. It's in there, and come out in a year, a couple of years. Ouch, boogers. Boy, that hurt. <laughs> All right, guys. So you're gonna line this guy up with the front of your vacuum. 
Oops. Good grief, that was too easy. Nah. Guys, I like this. Slide it right on in, push the red button, keep it straight. It slides all the way down. There you go. It's in. Now with that being in, we're going to put this guy back together. So we're outside guys, um, don't want to do this in the house. In order for this thing to operate at its optimal efficiency, uh, you really got to keep it clean on the inside. There's a pre-filter in there or a screen. Um, ours is a little hard to see because it's kind of opaque and we've had it for a while. Um, every now and again I'll clean this thing out really well, but you don't always have to do that. What you do have to do is this. So you pop it off, where's that little button, okay, got this Right here, this has to go down, which means the bottom is gonna come open. Put your finger in there, right there. Push down on that little, little button. Allow that to come out. There we go. Now, you see that fuzz? Well, that's the pre-filter. You need to get that off. Do that out in the wind. And it's, it's not a bad idea just to tap that thing on something. There you go. There's more dust and dirt coming out of this little thing. And that's the reason I clean it. We put it right back in. Slide that, slide that little, um, well actually you got two little pins on the front. You put those in first. Line it up, put it in, and then it'll click. There you go. So we're clicked. The bottom is back on. And now this thing is clean. The pre, the pre screen or the, the screen that's a pre cleaner is cleaned. And it's ready to go back on and, and vacuum. Keep it clean. This thing will do a great job for you. So guys, we're gonna get that one replaced as well and uh, be back to a good as new. Thanks for taking time out of your day to watch our videos. If you like what you're seeing, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. We've got more videos coming out all the time. If you ever wanna visit our farm, go to millgapfarms.com and check it out. We'd love to have you come out and visit. Until next time, guys. God bless you. So guys, this thing is fixed. My wife has been out of town for a day or two, and so I think I'm gonna leave it at the back door and see if she gets the hint. What do you think? Okay, I'm really, I'm not gonna do that. That would probably start World War III. Guys, I'm definitely not gonna do that. Or maybe, I don't know. Anyway, so hey, thanks again for watching our videos. If you like what you're seeing, Give us that thumbs up. We appreciate it. Till next time, God bless you guys.